was unhappy about what was happening to Ogoni as an oil producing area because from the very beginning, even though I was young, I could see that nothing was coming to the Ogoni people from the oil. And I started writing about it almost immediately, even though I was only a high school student at the time. I also, within the context of, of the country, knew that we were a very small ethnic group and our interest was likely to be ignored. Ogoni is the land, the people Ogoni. The agony of trees dying in ancestral farmlands, streams polluting, weeping filth into murky rivers. It is the poisoned air causing the luckless lungs of dying children. Ogon is the dream breaking the looping chain around the drooping neck of a shell-shocked land. What we are working on now is crude oil, not soil. This land is lost forever. For the next thousand years, nothing is going to grow here. Well, you are a doctor, a medical doctor. All this must have had a terrific impact on the uh, people of uh, Ibubu. Exactly. You can see because uh, when the sun hits this thing, it melts and then it evaporates into the, the atmosphere, increasing the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide uh, content. And you know the people live purely by uh, rainwater. Since uh, this stream, you can see, has completely been destroyed. I understand they've awarded contracts for the cleanup of this place and uh, the place is supposed to have been cleaned up. In fact, in their books, it is that it's been cleaned up twice. Well, you are seeing it for yourself, whether this place has been cleaned. You can see it. Ken Sarawi was campaigning for the Ogoni people, brought him into confrontation with the oil companies, particularly Shell. In 1995, he was arrested by the military government, tried in a special court, and executed. Thank uh...